yo 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 youtube good afternoon what's up how you guys doing man oh yeah i'm so tired even though i haven't really done much yet i still feel tired wait you can still see the bags under my eyes man oh my goodness yeah man today like we're inside today usually you'd see me outside like showing you guys the different buses in the city and like the different trains and like all the good looking buildings but nah i didn't go out today so today we're gonna stay inside but we'll still talk about some buses all right cool now there's two bus companies in particular that like i know about there's one of them is Paul Revere Transportation, LLC. The other one is Academy Bus Lines. Now, those two companies actually are contracted with UMass Boston to do the shuttle service. Uh, UMass Boston has three different shuttle buses. They have the shuttle bus number one, which is operated by Paul Revere Transportation. That bus gets you from, like, the JFK UMass station to the campus center. The main campus, pretty much. Yeah, the main campus. We can say that, too. And the second shuttle bus, shuttle bus number two, which is operated by Academy Bus, them, that bus, it goes from the station, JFK UMass station, it goes to the University Center, Clark Athletic Center. Yeah, that's what I'm at, Clark Athletic Center. And it heads to the Campus Center as well. And it also heads to the library. The third bus, shuttle bus number three, I don't really see it that often. But if I remember correctly, I think it goes from the, UN, the Bayside Expo Center to the what is it where did they go to to the main campus yes now Paul Revere Transportation LLC you know I always see LLC on like the sides of like the uh, bus companies like the name of the company is written but on the end I see LLC I wonder what LLC really stands for yeah, so about Paul Revere Transportation, them, they've been around since 1990. They do charters, you know. They do casino runs as well. As you guys probably already know, they're the shuttle service. They do shuttle services for UMass Boston. And I'm sure they do various shuttle services for other places too, like... The Longwood Medical Area in Massachusetts, where, like, all the, well, I guess the major hospitals, if that's the way, one way of looking at it, like, Longwood Medical Area, it has Boston Children's Hospital, the Adolescent Clinic, and Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital, there's Brigham and Women's Hospital around there as well. Paul Revere, it operates, like, a lot of buses around there, like, those Masco shuttle buses, they're operated by Paul Revere Transportation. The LMA shuttles, they're operated by Paul Revere Transportation as well. <clears throat> and Paul Revere, they also do the Massport, the Logan Express buses. Like the ones that you see that say Framingham and Braintree on the side of them. They're operated by Paul Revere Transportation. Typically, those, I usually see the MCI D4505s doing, like, that. Yeah, and Paul Revere, they have buses. They have vans. They have, they have various other vehicles. They've got MCI buses. I know that for sure. They've also got other new flyer buses as well. If you guys don't know what MCI stands for, it stands for Motor Coach Industries. And that's one of the leading manufacturers of coach buses in, like, the country and, I guess, maybe around the world, too. And they have a manufacturing facility in Canada, in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. 
and they have another manufacturing well they have multiple like offices in the United States many I guess like distribution centers if that's the right term to use their headquarters is in De, De Plains, Iowa D-E-S-P-L-A-I-N-E-S De Plain. I wonder if I pronounced that right De Plain. that sounds pretty cool to say De Plain. Uh, that sounds French actually but yeah <clears throat> MCI yes that's a little something about MCI that I know and more about power via transportation what else oh the easy ride buses that you guys see like for people who don't know and people who do know easy ride buses like they operate around like they operate around Cambridge and like North Station Boston area those easy ride buses also head to Kendall MIT the train station it's on the red line <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> sorry about that Whew. and that lunch that I had yo that was worth it what else do we know about Paul Revere bus oh um, the MBTA service the Winthrop shuttle that's done by Paul Revere transportation as well they actually have two offices there's one in Chelsea there's one the address I believe it's 100 Eastern Avenue in Chelsea Massachusetts there's another one in Roxbury as well. Hey, I had the address in mind, but it's not coming up to me at this point now. But definitely Paul Revere, like, if you guys want, like, luxurious vehicles or clean vehicles, vehicles that don't really break down, yeah, Paul Revere is definitely the way to go. Ah, oh, man, yo, those buses are sweet. And I mentioned Academy Bus earlier. Academy Bus, they're pretty, they're pretty much everywhere. They travel almost anywhere, if not literally anywhere. What I know about Academy Bus is that it was founded in 1968. It's based out of Hoboken, New Jersey. And their fleet, like, they have pretty much almost, like, a lot of the popular coaches. Their fleet is so diverse. They have commuter services like the New York area, New York metropolitan area, um, multiple areas like New Jersey, and they do like a lot of commuter services in like I guess other places too. And Academy bus, even their commuter buses have Wi-Fi, which is pretty good. I mean, I've never been on the commuter buses before, but. I mean, those things look sweet, at least from what I see. The commuter buses, MCI D4500s, MCI D4000s, various other MCI buses. Now, the buses, the other buses they have in their fleet, they have MCI J4500s as well. The newer, I like the old MCIs and the newer MCI J4500s. The new ones, yo, the X area is sweet with the, um, I believe they have, like, LED lighting now on, like, the front. Like, they have much more, I guess, like, safety features on that bus. The amount of storage underneath and inside the bus, yo, it is sweet. So, they got MCI J4500s. They have Van Hool buses as well. They have a Van Hool C2045. Van Hool CX-35, Van Hool CX-45. They also have Prevo buses as well. Prevos, H345s. From what I hear, it's known as one of the largest, like, coaches. Just just overall, like, the size one of the largest coaches. They also have the Cetra S417 bus. Cetra S407, I believe. They have those two. The one they have like the Mercedes logo on the back. That's always a sweet looking bus. They also have the European Temza coach as well. Yes, they have that too. I've seen some Academy buses that are MCI D forty five oh fives too. Uh, those buses run on the highway. I'm telling you, yo, one time this was I believe I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this was. A few years ago, I remember I was going to New York, 
And then we got on a coach bus. It was a D4505. Yo, that thing was just zipping on the highway, man. Yo, that bus driver was a beast. Yo, those coaches are sweet, man. An academy bus, they have offices in... What am I saying? Offices. Yeah, they have offices in, like, other, I guess, like... They have other locations in Boston, Massachusetts... Providence, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C. They have other locations in Raleigh, North Carolina. They have locations in Florida as well. Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville, Miami, Florida, and West Palm Beach. So yeah, Academy, as you guys can tell, Academy, it's like really popular, definitely one of the most like usable and like known, well-known coach companies in the motor coach industries. I've never been on a bus before, Academy bus myself, but I wouldn't mind going on that too. Yo, I bet you the rides are sweet on that bus. And in Massachusetts... The location is in Braintree, Massachusetts. Their address is 35 Roxanne Park Drive, Braintree, Massachusetts. And before Academy Bus was in Massachusetts, that very same address I just mentioned, before that, it was another company called Entertainment Tours. <clears throat> what else? An Academy Bus. Ooh, there's another tour bus company here. Well, there's another company called... Tremblay's bus they have like school buses for pretty much any event and they have they had motor coaches but the motor coach division was sold to Academy bus so now Academy like I guess operates their coaches which means yo, Academy is making moves and in Rhode Island there was a company called Archway Bus Transportation based out of um, Warwick, Rhode Island. Yes, Warwick, Rhode Island. And Academy purchased that company, Archway. So now the person managing, the person who was managing Archway Bus Transportation is managing the Academy bus operations in Rhode Island. And there's another company founded in 1926 called Conway Tours. And they've partnered up with Academy Bus as well. So, like, yeah, man, Academy, they're just, like, they're working hand in hand. Yeah, I mean, yo, Academy Bus is sweet. What else? Ooh, Go Buses. The Go Buses that would operate out of... Alewife, which is not, which is in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Alewife Station, and Go Buses from the Riverside Station, which would the uh, address would be 335 Grove Street, Rivers 335 Grove Street. I believe that's Newton, right, where the Riverside train station is. Oh, so but you guys, who you guys know who travel on Go Buses, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The Go Buses. Academy bus purchased Go Buses in 2014. So now, whenever you see Go Buses, you'll see the Go Bus logo on the front of the bus, and then you see Academy bus on the side. Yeah, so I mean, Academy bus, yo, they're doing, they're making moves out here. So if you guys ever want like a charter or any type of like shuttle, Academy bus is also another way to go. And I was talking about, like, Logan Express buses, right, earlier from Paul Revere. And there's another company that does, like, Logan Express, too, called McGinn Bus Company. They're from Lynn, they're in Lynn, Massachusetts, 3638 Alley Street, Lynn, Massachusetts. McGinn Bus Company, they do the Peabody Express. Peabody, no, Logan Express Peabody, yes, that's what I meant. And McGinn Bus Company, its sister companies are Plymouth and Brockton Bus Company and Brush Hill Tours Bus Company. Plymouth and Brockton Bus Company has been around since 1888. They travel pretty much anywhere, Washington, D.C., sightseeing tours, Montreal, you name it. 
What was it? Plymouth and Brockton. What else? Brush Hill Tours. Yes, they've been around for a long time, too. So Brush Hill Tours, Plymouth and Brockton and McGinn Bus Company, they're sister companies, and they're all, like, owned by the Nzuni family. I think I pronounced their name right. I hope I did. Yeah, their fleet, I always see the mostly MCI buses, the J4500s. MCI 102D3s. But if you look at the MCI D4505, the exterior, the front, the lights, yo, the light setup, yo, it is sweet. It sort of looks like the headlights are trying to, like, I guess, wink at you. I know that may sound hard to say, but if you look at it closely, there's definitely some sense to it. So, yeah, today we talked about a lot of the tour and charter companies. We talked about Paul Revere Bus. We talked about Academy Bus. We talked about Plymouth and Brockton. We talked about McGinn Bus Company. I th oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. McGinn Bus Company has been around since 1918. Yes, I forgot that, too. And... Yeah, what other companies? Tremblay's Bus Company. That company was around since 1960. Yeah, so as you can see, I definitely know a lot about, like, my bus history. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like you guys can tell, I love my buses. We love buses. So the companies, yeah, we have those companies in Massachusetts. So there's various other companies as well. So, like, any of those companies, if you guys want to go on, like, a trip, choose any one of them. Trust me, the service, you won't regret it. From what I've seen, the people, the drivers, they seem really courteous. Nice. Shout out to all the bus drivers, man. Shout out to you guys. So, that concludes this vlog. I hope you guys have a great day. Have fun. Enjoy the day. Ooh, stay hydrated, cause yo, know, it is hot outside. You can see the brightness right here. Today the temperature is around what 90 something degrees. So yeah, drink a lot of water, guys. Trust me. Now, don't drink too much to the point where like your stomach can't really take any take any take any more water anymore. But yeah, stay hydrated, spend some time with your families, have fun, spread the positive energy, shout out to all my YouTubers, my fellow subscribers, I don't know if I, I don't know if I mentioned, in the, mentioned them in the previous vlogs, but if I didn't, shout out to Crazy from the Day One, Liam Pinero, J&M Entertainment, The New Life Vlog, New Flyer Fan 101, Gino DePaulo, yeah, and a whole bunch of other subscribers. Yo, guys, all those people I just mentioned, check them out. They're really cool people. If you check their vlogs, you'll definitely be inspired by what they have. It'll inspire you to do more as well. We should inspire other people. Now, others may think that they aren't as smart, but can another person really determine another person's knowledge? Can another person determine what another person knows? Can another person determine... Wow, I'm getting in a flow right there. Wow, huh? Can another person really define you? Can define you like who you are? Obviously, you know what you're capable of. So if someone needs help... Why not build them up? Why not make your strength become their strength? And oftentimes, like, certain, like, we have ideas, right? We spend a lot of time on thinking about the ideas, but we don't spend much time, like, executing the ideas. I feel like that's what makes us really nervous sometimes. But then again, how do you know if you're good at something unless you don't try it how do you you never know there's a lot that you're capable of so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this vlog comment share like whichever you want have fun 
be safe, and eat a lot of good food. Oh, and shout out to Dylan Rathen as well. One of the one of the cool like school bus guys on YouTube. Always recording the vlogs and stuff. Yeah, shout out to him. And yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. Have fun. Smile. Peace out, my friends. Bye. Mado over here. Mado over and out. Peace.